Good morning, guys. I just want to do another video to give y'all some uh, information about myself that I didn't get to give yesterday because I was nervous. <laughs> and um, it, uh, it, don't, it don't get any easier, like I said yesterday. Um, although I'm a ghost hunter and I'm on camera all the time, it's still hard. A um, little bit easier because I'm by myself. Uh, I made my husband go out of the house, so <laughs> I can kind of uh, be myself and... Uh, be my funny self but um i'm 28 i'm a stay-at-home mom of three boys and um on the side i'm a ghost hunter uh, i do that with my family some of my family and my friends and um we love it it's black mountain paranormal society you guys can look us up on facebook and you can see my videos and you kind of kind of can see like my weight um that I've been struggling with. Uh, we've been doing it for a year now, so you can't see as far as back as, um, you know, I really had my big struggles, but um, this is a lifestyle change. That's something that I was thinking about yesterday after making the video and saying, yeah, this is my journey, but it's a never ending journey. Um, it ain't like we're gonna get somewhere and stay there. You know, it's not, um, it's not ending. It's always a struggle. Anybody that has had weight issues or having them now knows that you're always aware of what you're doing. Uh, whether it be getting on the scale or, um, you know, watching what you're eating or working out. And with the scale, something I wanted to say was um, your weight does not define you. That number is not you. It does not tell how beautiful you are, how good of a person you are. For me personally, that weight just keeps me in check. It says, okay, Holly, let's not gain weight. <laughs> let's, you know, we either want to stay the same or we want to lose it because I do not want to go back to where I was. And nobody ever does. And I think, you know, like I said yesterday, it's a reality check, um, the scales are. That keeps you in check of, you know, what your um, overall goal is and um, keeps you in line. But anyway, I wanted to talk about also is the dieting. No, not dieting. I hate that word. It's just awful. It's a lifestyle change. Um, fad diets are crazy. Uh, I wouldn't suggest anybody, you know, I mean, if you want to go on a whatever diet, it don't matter. Pfft. Uh, it's a lifestyle change. It's about you changing what you eat, how you cook it, and, um, you know, how you serve it. Uh... I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And I don't believe that you have to um, deprive yourself of everything. Now, am I going to sit down and eat um, a fudge round? Well, I might do that one day. And that's okay. I'm not going to beat myself up over that. Although, you know, I can sit here and talk and say I'm not going to. But I'm like, ooh, does the fat girl need a fudge round, you know? Um, in reality... Probably not, but you know what? I'm active. And that's another thing, too, is, you know, not all big people are lazy and stinky and um, have always sit on the couch and had their hand and potato chip bag. And um, I'm actually very active. Um, and I try my best to get everybody motivated. And I love doing that because... I, if I can spread the love and make everybody feel how good I'm feeling right now, then that's just the best feeling in the world. Because I know how it feels to try to get that motivation and you just don't have it. And I go through them too. I'm not perfect. I'm not always peppy. And I don't always have a smile on my face, even though when people see me, I do. But um, I'm a music barrier. I bury myself in music. And I love music. I always have. <clears throat> but um, back to the um, food I don't believe that you have to, and especially, you know, just because it says low fat doesn't mean it's good for you or you can eat a lot of it. Um, I'm really big on the organic stuff, uh, although I do not buy it because it's expensive. We are from co-country and we have economy issues right now. So nobody can afford that. But I do believe if you, um, you know, watch what you eat, bake instead of fry and, um, you know, try to put them vegetables in there and make sure you eat your meals in a day. That's just big enough right there because we're not going to change overnight. America is big. We know that. And we are all struggling with obesity in America. But it's small steps. And it's not, you know, some you overwhelm people when you say, hey, let's change these 
fried potatoes into rice. Well, honey, I love my carbs. I love my fried taters. So bake them babies instead. Do not deprive yourself because that's when you feel like you're on a diet. And that's when you sabotage yourself. That's when you sit down and eat a whole bag of potato chips without even thinking about it. And yes, I've done that. Who hasn't? But, um, you know, I'm a real person. I'm a mom. And, um, it's just, uh, that's why I'm doing this because I definitely want to motivate people and um, show people that you can love yourself and have that self-confidence and it's okay to do that and it's okay to love yourself and um, you know it's it's fine completely fine to love yourself um, but uh, this is the end of this vlog and I hope I got the stuff I wanted in because I'm kind of like I get all nervous and um, don't say everything I want to, but hopefully I have. <laughs> but I'll give you guys an update. Um, actually, there is a little update. I'm down to 253. Um, I don't weigh myself every day. I try not to because it's not good for you. I'm like a, you know, you don't want to get obsessed with the scales and get on there like 20 times a day. I'm a morning weigher, of course, because that's when you're at your lowest weight. And I want it to be consistent, so I do morning weighs. And, um... Let's see, it's been a couple, I think a couple of days since I've weighed myself and I was 255, now I'm 253. Um, but um, I'm going walking this morning. I try to get a walk in every morning and every evening and it equals up to about three miles, I think. And in between that, I'm always cleaning house and doing all that fun mommy stuff and um, outside stuff. I love the outdoors, hiking, and um, that's actually something. You know what? You do not need a gym. You do not... I mean, you can go outside and do the same thing, and um, it's more enjoyable because you're not stuck inside of a gym looking at skinny people work out. <laughs> and I hate to say that, I'm, you know, but uh, it's true, you know, when you're big and you go into a gym with a bunch of skinny people, it's disheartening. And it's like, oh, I don't want to move because my stuff's going to jiggle and wiggle and it ain't going to stop. <laughs> but no, definitely, you guys... Uh, Stay tuned and um, much love and plenty of weight loss. And if you have any questions, just question me away.